How did I change the war on people? Now, first of all, what am I referring to when I say the war on people? Um, what I'm referring to is specifically my personal experience in relation to being a part of and participating within the online community. The online community where basically, I mean, it's like the whole world coming together. Well, people who are fortunate enough to have the money to buy a computer and have internet at home coming together all across the world, which is different families, cultures, nations, backgrounds, you know, ages of people coming together on this one platform to discuss things. And what I've realized and seen and experienced so far within my participation within that is that there is, you know, whenever things are being discussed, there's actually a fascinating thing happening is that every individual coming from their own personal background, their own personal culture, religion, um, sphere of influence has their own opinion, has their own view on things uh, where you have, you know, you have also like political kind of segregations where people are either liberal or democrat or republican or what have you and all these people it's like for instance the topic of abortion is raised just a, an example and then you have people going, then you have one person going, well, abortion is bad because of God, and God says that, you know, uh, it's life and you're killing life when you're applying abortion, and then you've got another person coming from another background who is non-religious saying, well, but a woman should have the right to choose, and what if she's raped, and what if this and that, etc. And then you have another person from another, from another religion or political um, background or what have you that has another opinion and it's like eventually what happens is that there's like a war going on between people of different opinions who each have their own stance and they're in their own individual perspective on the point and it's like what I've noticed for myself is that there's no real solutions like Like, you've got a point, for instance, abortion, and then people just kind of argue over it. No, it's good. No, it's bad. No, it's good. No, it's bad. And then you've got other people who are just reading the comments and then are making their own judgments and opinion, opinions about the comments that they are reading and are also not doing anything and are just in their own mind kind of participating by siding with one or the other. But it's like eventually, in the end, Nobody seems to be able to find some some kind of common ground. Nobody seems to be able to have a real insight in what is actually best. So, you know, this kind of phenomenon that is playing out on the internet, in our in online community and on the different platforms in the online community, for instance, YouTube and Facebook and reddit and what other kind of news platforms and stuff that is what is going on in our online community it's like a war zone going on where you have people waging war with information with words uh, and it's you know the fascinating point within all of this is that Regardless of all the words being spilled, regardless of all the information being thrown at each other's head, does anything ever really come of it? No! It's like all that we're creating and all that we're doing is creating conflict, is creating all sorts of um, emotional uh, or emotionally driven conflicts and arguments and kind of trying to ma manipulate each other in a way through the words that we speak, trying to convince the other person of our opinion on the matter and our standing point and starting point and perspective and vision on things. But if you really kind of stand back and you have a look at what's going on, I mean, you can see this fascinating point that it's like, it's, it's like we're getting lost in 
translation. We're getting lost in all the information that we're bringing up and that is being brought up by people. And at the end of the day, whatever the point is that's being discussed doesn't change. There's no solutions being created. You know, there's no point of insight that we can all agree on, that we can all see that, yes, this is best. And, you know, what I've, you know, how I've been able to personally step out of this specific tendency to go into conflict, this tendency to exert our ego, so to speak, to exert our intelligence, our knowledge base, our uh, consciousness, our identity within our opinions, how I've been able to stop that within myself, because I found that I have been participating within that, and I have actually um, participated in conflict through the use of words, and becoming emotional when someone doesn't agree with me, or when someone doesn't see it my way, is that, you know, I've actually at a certain point, within having walked a process for myself of developing self-insight and developing a form of responsibility in relation to who I am as a being in this world and a responsibility in relation to not just who I am in relation to my own life but in relation to you know the world when I realized that you know what I exist here so that means that I have a specific responsibility towards the people around me not only people but you know nature animals everything that exists Within that, I've come to a realization that, you know what, regardless of all of these opinions that I may or may not have about things, and regardless of the fact that I so very often believe and I'm convinced that how I see things is right, at the end of the day, with all of my fighting for my right, with all of my standing up for the truth, with all of my crusading against those who oppose. I found an interesting thing, and that is that there is never any solution being created. You know, there is never any common ground being created. And why is that? You know, what I realized for myself is that I was part of the problem because I didn't want to give up on my right. I didn't want to give up on my ego, my belief that I'm right and that I must fight. I didn't want to give up on this fighter personality where I believe that I'm doing the right thing by creating conflict, whereas in fact I was doing quite the opposite because I didn't realize that the more I go and fight against other people, the more I'm going to create conflict and the more I'm going to actually entice other people to come and fight me. Because they're doing exactly the same thing. They are existing in actually exactly the same way. The only difference between myself and another person is the information that we've learned. The information that we've, you know, that we've kind of stored into our brain and that we're now just kind of spilling out. The information that differs from culture to culture and that varies based on your environment that you've been brought up in. But essentially... We're, exactly the, we're doing exactly the same, which is fighting for our right. And within that, creating a war zone. So within taking that responsibility that I've realized in relation to my existence in this world, I realized that it's up to me to stand back and to not allow myself to go into conflict and to rather establish within myself an ability and develop an ability inside of myself to be able to look at another person, look at their words, and look beyond my own personal emotional reactions, look beyond my own desire to defend my stance, look beyond my own personal information that I'm trying to defend, my own personal opinions. Look beyond this idea in my mind that everyone's against me if they don't agree with me. Look beyond my thoughts that are telling me that I must prove that I'm right and I must 
speak these things and I must say these things and those words to make sure that everyone agrees with me. You know, see beyond all that information that is kind of clouding my vision and that is sabotaging my ability to see another being as equal to myself. And within that, I actually realized and came upon a very fascinating thing, a very fascinating gift, wherein now I'm able to, when looking at another person, actually find ways to, rather than reacting, rather than becoming emotional, rather than immediately seeing this person as my en enemy that I must fight, you know, instead of that, I'm able to now take this person and look at them and, you know, find a way behind, to get behind their words and search and investigate the words that they speak and for myself develop an insight into, you know, seeing how it is that they developed the words that they are speaking, how it is that they develop their, themselves, you know, where is all this information coming from that they are speaking? How do they exist within themselves? Because that is a point that I've never considered all throughout my lifetime, is how do other people exist inside of themselves? Because all I've ever seen is myself, my opinion, and my beliefs, my ideas about what is right and what is wrong that apparently need to be defended by everyone else who doesn't agree with me. But it's a fascinating thing that we don't ever seem to listen to each other, that I've never actually really listened to another person in the way, you know, listening not from the perspective of simply agreeing with what they say or um, accepting their words or not from the perspective of um, adhering to their words, but listening from the perspective of being open to being open to who they are, you know, being open to considering them as a being, not as my enemy or not as some kind of, you know, enemy, but seeing other people as my equals. Wherein, you know, and, and in that also allowing relationships between people to become more than just sharing of opinions, to become more than just discussions and arguments, and more than that war zone that we find ourselves in. So, that is the realization that I've seen for myself and established for myself, where you know, now my relationships with people are a lot more stable and in-depth and I've actually been able to find that point within myself where no matter who I'm with, you know, I can always find a form of connection with simply realizing that they are a being within themselves and no matter who they think they are, no matter um, no matter what information is contained in their mind, no matter what stance they take or opinions they have, there's always this core point that is equal within every single human being, within every individual, wherein we are actually all connected. Connected in the way that, you know, you realize that, you know, I'm just here, you're just here, we're all just here, and all of this information, all of this discussion really is quite pointless and you know you can see that very well within what i just shared as an example of our online community is that regardless of all the discussions that we have i mean the bottom line is that eventually we don't come to solutions you know we don't actually establish real uh, points of coming together and working together and creating something we don't create things it's like we're just flinging information at each other and eventually that doesn't surmount to anything. It's, it's fascinating how that works. So, I mean, to assist and support yourself to also 
be able to step out of that strange kind of system of the mind, this strange tendency that exists in our mind that is creating conflict between each other and that is sabotaging our ability to work together, sabotaging our ability to understand each other, to see each other. I would suggest to visit the Destiny website where you can find specific tools to be able to investigate your inner workings as well as investigate uh, your relationship with the world around you and, re and, and come to the realization of that point of responsibility within yourself in relation to your own life and yourself and your mind as well as the world around you so that we can all finally start actually creating instead of only forming conflict and arguments. Okay, thank you very much.